Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video I'm going to be discussing how to download Netflix videos on your Windows machines. I already had a video kind of making a portable media streamer while offline uh, utilizing your Android tablet and a Netflix app. In today's video we'll kind of be the continuation of that series if you have a uh, Windows machine or a Windows tablet versus an Android tablet. Uh, so without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so when available, I use web apps for the most part, as long as they're just as good or at least comparable to their digital downloadable counterparts. However, there are use cases for the Microsoft Store, and there are a couple apps that I actually download from the Microsoft Store that are actually quite nice and very uh, have some benefits over the web apps, or if there's not, there might not even be a web app counterpart to these apps. So one of those apps is Netflix. Rather than going to Netflix.com, I almost always download the Netflix app. Uh, so just go to the Windows Store and just type in Netflix, and you'll be brought to the Netflix app. Uh, if it came up in the search results, I should have clicked it there, but I just enter, hit enter quicker than it uh, showed up in search results. Uh, I already have it installed, so it just has a launch option, but otherwise you'd have the option to install it. It's completely free, and if you have a Netflix account, that's all you need. Alright, so I'm over in the Netflix app now, and you can see that it's quite similar to what you would expect from the Android app or the web app for most parts. Uh, the big unique feature is the fact that you can download uh, video content uh, for a lot of the videos and uh, the movies and the TV shows on Netflix. Not everything, but they do have a good selection of what is available to download uh, from the different apps. Uh, so you just have to click on the show that you like. For example, The Secret Life of Pets is a show that my kids are super into. Uh, it's a new release on Netflix, uh, and it's something that on my home theater machine I would download simply because it's being watched a lot. So there are a couple different use cases for this, even on a Windows device. There are Windows tablets, such as the Microsoft Surface, where you're portable, and it makes a lot of sense there because you're not always going to have an internet connection. Uh, you might be on a plane or on a train <laughs> or, you know, just, you know, away from your standard Netflix or internet connections. You could actually download videos and watch those while on the go. And all your favorite shows might not have, you know, the ability to download, but a lot of them will. Uh, and so you can you can pick and choose uh, and download files so you can ha still continue watching your favorite Netflix stuff while on the go. Uh, beyond that, there are some use cases. Uh, for example, uh, even on like a home theater PC, this is what I do. Uh, there's two use cases for that. I know there are some cases where your internet provider will actually cap how much you can download. Uh, so if you have like Comcast, I believe they do this. They will actually limit how much you can download in a given month and send you a warning letter if you exceed that. Uh, so if you have that, you can actually download a show. If you have kids like I do, there's probably a show that they watch over and over again. Uh, it's one of their favorite shows. And uh, if that's one of the shows, you can download this to save some bandwidth off of your cap. Also, if you're like me, you might not have a great internet connection and streaming Netflix will pretty much consume your full internet connection. You won't be able to do much else while that is going on. And in those cases, you can still download the video and play it from a uh, from the local catch rather than having to stream that all the time. And that's also very good for things that are, you play all, uh, over and over again, so primarily for your kids. But also if you want to have a little bit of forethought and you know download something in advance and have be able to watch it uh in high quality you might not be able to stream in the highest definition or the high quality stream uh in this might give you a little bit better quality uh as opposed to what you'd be able to when you're just streaming uh to download all you have to do is click that download button and if an app or a show does have the ability to download it will have that button that's all it takes after a second, it'll turn blue and it'll show you that it's, it's actually uh, downloading. Um, normally that works. Let's go ahead and restart that. All right, so it looks like there's actually some technical difficulties. I have done this before on uh, my home theater computer. I haven't done it before on my machine. Um, one annoying thing is if you do have multiple drives, so for example, on my home theater machine, I have my main drive is an a SSD and my uh, other drives, uh, I have an extra drive for media. Uh, I don't really use that anymore because now I have a, a Synology NAS that has uh, Plex running on it, but I do have an extra capacity and an extra drive inside of my home theater machine that never gets really used. I, it would be awesome if you could change where Netflix would store these downloads, but it will only store it on your main 
a system drive. Uh, so that is one thing that is annoying, but you can at least uh, change your quality to use high or standard uh, storage. Um, so for your mobile devices, you're normally only going to have a single hard drive anyway, so that isn't as big as a deal. Uh, let's see, something had an error. Uh, we're just going to retry it and see if it succeeds. All right, so that's what it'll normally do. I don't know what the issue was there, but normally it'll just say downloading and you'll be able to uh, access your downloads uh, and view those and delete those. So to access your downloads, all you have to do is click on your triple arrow over here and you can click on my downloads. And that'll be everything that you have downloaded. So everything you have stored offline will be stored there. All right, guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, give it a big thumbs up and like it so I know that you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a uh, down vote so I kind of have some feedback on what you kind of like and dislike uh, from the Top Broken Tech channel. Also, consider subscribing if you're not already an subscriber. And if you're a new subscriber or an existing subscriber, consider hitting that bell icon. And the bell icon will notify you when I release new videos so you can always stay up to date to what's going on in the world of thought-provoking tech. If you'd like to contact me, you can see the, in the banner that rotates throughout the video, uh, the Twitter and the Facebook profiles for thought-provoking tech, or hit me up in the description below. Also, if you like what I'm doing with thought-provoking tech, consider heading over to patreon.com and becoming my patron. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, Zach out.